Big Unc, man, Uncle Spliff, man, Spliff DTV. Yo, real tune, what's going on? There's a lot of money in the room. The biggest, man. Yeah, oh, man. yeah. Hey, 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 I'll just show you niggas where we at, man. Nighttime with it, too. Oh, yeah, man. nigga. Yeah, nigga, we at the essays, niggas. Hey, sucker free, what's up, baby? What up, Spliff? We right here tapped in with Spliff DTV from Cali to Texas. Whatever we go on to call it, we right here locked in, you know? Yeah, nighttime with it. Nighttime in the trenches, man, stacked up. Duckies, one time, all that. Man, look at it, man. God damn, boy. I got put on right here at the dead end. Hold, you got put on right here? I got put on here 10 years ago, man. Let's go. No. 10, 11 years ago, man. Let's go. Hey, so I see, hey, Sucker Free, I see it say, uh, West Side. What you mean? Is it like, this is like, just the West Side of uh, Linux? Uh, yeah, so basically, like, Cali is separated, so right here, y'all in West LA, West, West Side, West LA area, you know? Okay. So it's, it's divided by South Central Car, Double S, like my boy Westmont, you know? Westmont Ski, shout out to the homie Westmont. How far, how far is skiing from here? Probably like a cool 15 minutes. Cause you just down right on Vermont in 102nd. Okay. So so you could take a 104 right here, two blocks down, all the way to you know 102nd in Vermont type show. You could take the freeway right here and end up over there in like 10 minutes. You know? Yeah. It's pretty quick. You know, it's not that far. Now let me ask you this. So is is Linux is Linux its own separate city? We're an unincorporated area, Los Angeles. So basically, we're like when you search up Linux, it won't come up 95 percent of the time. You have to actually type Linux. It'll say like. Another city type shit, Inglewood type shit. Yeah. Because we're unincorporated, but to be honest, we lasted like that for a long time because they've been trying to buy the city since I believe the 1950s. You know? Who trying to buy? It? Um, well, just the area. It used to be bigger before be, before they built the 105 and the the 105 and the 405 freeway. It was a bigger area, you know. Yeah. But then they built the freeways, and you know, it's just a little small. It's a small area, you know. Yeah. Type shit. Okay, okay, okay. So we got so this Linux. I'm, I'm assuming Hawthorne is how far? Hawthorne is literally after Imperial. You pass Imperial and you're in Hawthorne. And that's Hawthorne. Right? Hawthorne and next and, block, yeah. And which way Compton? Compton, you got to take the 105 West to Wilmington. You just basically. So right here is Lanny's. Yeah. Then it's Hawthorne, Londale. Yeah. Then you got Gardena and Compton on that side. Basically on the east side type shit. Like going east on the 105. Okay. And then going, I believe that south, you got Hawthorne and then going north, you got Inglewood next door. And then all that, you know, such, such and such type shit. Man, I see, man. Hold up, man. I see you got them posted up right here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. My dog got the Medello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was posted up, gang thing type shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You see the four pack? Oh shit, you got the other burrito or the for, for homie split type shit? So yeah, I'm not. You want to your burrito right now type shit? No nah, man, shit, we got them. We vibing out right now. Right, cool. well, we want, look, 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 look at the homie. What, 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 right, man, go ahead and tell, tell, tell people who he is, Casper homie. from Westside Lennox. Yeah. yeah. Right look at Casper out right here with the black hoodie on, ready for yeah. war, nigga. Ooh, 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 ooh. That boy got that big right. whopper. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, take yeah, man, we out here with the essays, nigga. You know what the fuck going on. You know, hey, I, 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 I told Tune this is Mando, man. I said, bro, I got to tap in with my essays, bro. I'm doing all, you know, I show love, but I got to do a hood vlog with my essays, man. Sucker free. Mando, Sucker free, man. What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up with the music, baby? Man, low key, I... I'm dropping, I'm dropping an album in 2023, uh -huh. and I'm coming out with a gang of videos 2023, 2022 this year. I, I low key been on my working tip, and I've been bullshitting because life, life be hitting hard, motherfuckers really out here type shit. Yeah, shit. bro, I, so I'm just low key working, grinding up my money, you know. Yeah, you you were speaking earlier, man, talking about uh uh, uh your house got shot up, a, got shot up a couple times, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't to disclose too much information yeah, about yeah, that. I, yeah. yeah, basically, yeah, I had to move out type shit, you know? Yeah. Because, you know, that's where my family's at type shit. I got kids right there, little kids and shit, you know, like, we run a different program, you know, like, you know, it is what it is, but I, I had to learn the hard way, you know? I took off and shit, I moved out type shit. Yeah. But so let me ask you, bro, did, 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 was the hate already there for you, or did the hate come when the song popped off? Nah, it was already there for you. I, I, that low key, the hate came from some shit I can't speak about. Okay. But you know, like, no said. Later, you know, like that's what it is. You know. Yeah. But yeah, you know that should change. You live and you learn. You know. Yeah. Live and you learn of what to do and what not to do, and you know how to how to function. You know. Yeah. 
So uh, uh, I like I like I like what you just said about the live and learn, man. Cause you know a lot of cats, a lot of cats get older, baby, but but they don't get no wiser. Hey, you, you ain't tripping, man. I, I'm a little young body, but I I feel like I got an old soul. You know, I don't want to be an old ass man. No disrespect to my OGs, cause I ain't talking about them at all. But yeah, you know, I don't I don't want to be thirty, like you know, still like looking for trying to get my shit together type shit you know I'm trying to get that shit together now you know I mean, I'm, I'm young you know I gotta take notes from my older homies they, they show me a lot of a lot of love and a lot of knowledge and they be they be giving me a type shit you know I love how the the, 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 the young G's in Cali have so much respect for their OG's you know what I'm saying oh man those bro then then the ones that paid the way for us you know yeah they the one that's told us what we do you know showed us how we do everything right. type shit man I'm, I'm curious bro like what I was told, you know what I'm saying, is, is that, you know, blacks and Hispanics don't really have the best relationship in Cali. But I see shit, you banging that shit loud. <laughs> they well, banging the, the album. The boy. thing about Cali is, 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 look, and I'm going to clear the air right now because a lot of motherfuckers think when you come to Cali, it's just straight racial. It's 10044. It's racial, but nah, it's like, yeah, we may bump heads from here because, you know, I'm from. Right here, this area is little TJ, you know, so it's been a thing with Mexicans, but we're in a Hawthorne High School, you know? So we'll, we'll have rumbles with the Crips, with the black type shit, but like at the end of the day, that shit always dies down, you know? Like, it doesn't always stay like that. It's just like a misunderstanding, even in jail. When I was locked up in the halls and county, any little thing you say, it could turn into a racial way, you know? Yeah. And I'm not trying to speak too much on, on none of that stuff, but it ain't like that around here. Like, you know, if you locked in, you locked in type shit, you know? Yeah. Most of the time, it's just like gang hoods that beef with each other. It might be a black hood and a crip hood, you know. And, and the media is always the one that hypes things up like that. Yeah. To be honest, you know, or if my, if somebody doesn't understand like how shit works, like they won't understand it. It's like if I go to Texas or like another Chicago, like I'm not gonna know because Chicago got uh they got Latin Kings, Vice Lords, all type of shit. They run a different program, you know. Yeah. So every every city is different, but now nah, LA. It just be hot sometimes, to be honest, and it just gets a little bit carried away with the media type shit. Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you something, bro. While you was talking, I finally got that bar. Which I'm one? from the city where the planes fly low. Yeah, I just I'm seen that there. shit, dog. That shit fly low. Look, I got that shit tied right here. Uh, where yeah. the planes fly low. You God damn, me? bro. That motherfucker was low. Yeah, so they, literally, the airport's right, right here? Yeah, literally, you pass... You pass one block after the hood is the airport, basically, after the 405 freeway. Yeah. Yeah. As kids, bro, like, we used to, from our driveways, we used to see the planes coming. Uh -huh. Like, if you live right there where the planes are aligned, you could see, like, one, two, three, four. Like, they're, like, ten minutes spread apart. Yeah. But you could see them coming type shit, you know? Yeah. So, as little kids, we'll be like, all right, let's race the airplane from that driveway to the end type shit when it gets close yeah. enough. How many you won? How many How many races you won? All of them, because I'll, I'll look at you. I'll take off before they got to the spot. Type shit, yeah, you know, yeah. How was it? How, how how was it growing up up here as a kid, bro? I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I'm from the trenches. It, it was beautiful, you know. Like, I, I love this area, bro. Like, this is where I got I got black eyes here. I got jumped here. I got down here. I had I experienced a lot of beautiful things here too. You know, like a lot of beautiful things. Right now, I can't think of none, but yeah, I, I it'll come back to me, you know. But it was pretty cool, to be honest. You know, I went. I'll give you a tour, but right now, like, we just studying right here, but I went to LMS type shit, Lennox Middle School, yeah. Jefferson, you know, I wasn't the best at school, but it was pretty good growing up right here, you know? Yeah. Now, y y your hood, is your, is your hood a, a big, a big, a big hood? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a small little area. Yeah. From Hawthorne to La Senega, Century Imperial. Okay. But... We got right here, we got our woman in Kidridge over there in the 818 Valley. We got over there in Orange County. And then we, over there in Denver type shit, you know? And then we used to be deep as fucking New Mexico type shit. Bro. What? Yeah, it just died down. Yeah, we got a lot. Shout out to all my homies that are not here no more. All the homies that are busted that don't be on social media. Like, just everybody in general, because at the end of the day, we all, you know, we all blood, sweat, tears, all that shit. It all goes to, for the same, you know, reason type shit. Yeah, real shit, real shit. All right, now, 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 I noticed it almost every hood vlog I do, man, it's a lot of hit ups. Now, now, what's the purpose? Because, you know, I'm not from Cali. And a lot of people that's, that's watching, that's probably going to watch this, is not from Cali. What's the purpose of the hit-up, bro? 
I just don't want nobody coming over here thinking they could, you know, walk through here like it's, you know? Yeah. I don't it want nobody coming over here and be like, oh, this, this, this city and calling this city another city, you know? Or be like, oh, like, there don't be nobody here. I just don't want nobody coming in here, like, trying to disrespect or whatever. It's basically like a symbolism, like, you know, this is where we at type shit, you know? Is it, is it, is it kind of like a, like a, like a caution sign too? No, caution sign or sometimes we just be bored and be like, hey, let's go, you know? Yeah. Let's go do what we do, you know? Yeah. We don't disrespect the, like, the people's, or, you know, like, everybody here, like, we cool with the neighbors and all that shit, you know? We, We'd be like, what's up? How you doing when I started this homo style? Shit like that. You want a beer? Because sometimes the neighbors get off work. They tired. They want a pistol type shit, you know? Yeah. I'd be like that. All right. So, man, shit, man. Let's goddamn, uh, 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 let's get a little tour of this motherfucker. A little tour? Yeah, a little tour. Damn, um, shit. Now, this is nighttime, so I know it's, this, this, this uh, uh, it's kind of treacherous right now. Um, all right, so look, uh. Right here, I mean, it's a big city, so low key we would need a car to drive around type shit, you know? Okay. But I can give you a little backstory of what happened in this alley and why it, why it's so important to me type shit. Like over there, at the end of that alley type shit, we got tapatios. It's like a little spot where I just got you your burrito. You're gonna let that shit by the way. It's yeah. fire, you know? Yeah. Wake up every, every weekend, go right there, eat some food right there, drink or whatever, do what you do. You got the donut shop at the corner. You know, it's just everybody gets up for work and they, they want their little protein to go to work type shit, you know? Yeah. And, and right here, you got the triple X porno shop right here. <laughs> yeah. You got the little porno yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You a freak of visitor? Nah, not really. But you know, they, they don't see that type shit, you know? Yeah, nah, That's shit. the first place you say, Split, meet me at the uh, triple X shop. That's the first thing I say, huh? Yeah. You porno shop? Yeah. But nah, you know, like, my, my I, I grew up on this block. I used to live here a long time ago when I was a kid for a little while type shit, you know. Uh, right here on, uh, on the other side of this alley type yeah. shit. And uh, we ended up moving to 104th and Delarose. Mm -hmm. And from there we moved to another spot and shit right here in the head. And you know, since there has been on and cracking, but right here, literally, right here, let me get a little Or did I respond to that board posting? I put on right. you all know. It all matters. Isn't it like around this time a little bit later type shit? I'm gonna show somebody right there shit. I don't wanna fucking get on my camera, but I gotta put on right here type shit, you know? Yeah, nighttime put on. Yeah, my cousin Chaka, rest in peace, and my other homie Tiny, rest in peace. They both put me on. They gone now type shit, but you know, I used to post it right here type shit when I was younger. But you know, this is all like sy symbolic right here because it just brings back a big, big piece of my memory, you know? Yeah. yeah. Man, we in motherfucking Linux. But motherfucker sucker free. Suck I noticed, uh, I, I noticed, like, if you go, if, if you go on this street right here, you'll see, like, a lot of and vendors, you know Because you're saying? representing like, this. So we call it Lil TJ, because the city's, like, all learning. learning. It's Reflect on the wide and positive impact the Boilermakers make and have made here on Earth. Man, bang, bang, and you know, kind of right you are. Yeah. But in reality, though, man, y'all good in the community, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I mean, shit, we, I feel like it's always good to be courteous to your neighbors and, and to the people around because we never, like, we, we don't like, you know, fucking with the people because you never know who's onto your uncle or mom or grandparents you're fucking with type shit, you know? And at the end of the day, like, if you're running from the police, they might be the ones to save your ass, you know? Like, yeah. come inside my house, you know, like, it's cool. Like, they'll see you and, you know, mind their business, turn the other cheek. Right, so right. it's always cool to just, you know, be cool to your neighbors type shit. Just, you know, ask if they need anything or anything, you know, it's... It's like we all grew up right here. We're, I, I feel like we grew up with respect. Like, and if we didn't, we got out of pocket. We'll, you know, we'll get a little ass whooping and shit type shit. But, yeah. you know, we just, that's ground one type shit. We always taught respect, you know? Yeah. People don't be talking like you, bro. Most people act like they was hard from day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel like you just got to be yourself sometimes, bro. You know, like... Ah, oh, pirata. <laughs> you had a little bit too much to drink, my boy. Pirata. Nah, but yeah, you know, it's always cool to just be yourself and shit because at the end of the day, when you meet new people, when you be yourself, they like you for who you are. They don't like you for who you're not trying to be, you know? Facts. Real, That's big that facts. That's big facts. Like that that our last interview, the last interview that we did, man, 
Y'all really impressed me how y'all was talking about, man, Spliff, I like reading books, man. That oh, shocked yeah. the shit out of me. I'm like, damn, you niggas be reading? Not out here, I'm not going to lie. Not out here. We yeah, yeah I know you ain't reading no damn alley now, shit. We don't read books out here. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. We don't need jail type shit because we be bored. Ain't no cell phone. If you juiced up, you might have a little cell phone or whatever in jail, but out here ain't no reading books. You, you, you barely have time for anything to write the homies a letter type shit, you know? Yeah.